Hello angry BattleBots fans and welcome to a video that might leave you a little angrier after you watch it because today we are going to go over the last chance rumble and some of the information around it and use that evidence to support why Bombshell may have been the deserved winner of the fight over Duck. After the 6 bot last chance rumble aired, people were surprised Bombshell was even in it to begin with and then they were left fuming when he won it over of course fan favorite Duck and Hal Rucker and there's a lot of stuff that was confusing. The rules of the Rumble and why these bots were the ones selected. A lot of different stuff to go through, so let's get into it. So this last chance Rumble was a chance for six bots to get one last opportunity at getting in the tournament. The winner of this got the 16th seed. The competitors, 2-2 two two Duck, 2-2 two two Red Devil, 2-2 two two Gigabyte, 2-4 two Lucky, 3-2 Valkyrie, and 0-4 and Bombshell. All of the other competitors had at least two wins, Valkyrie the only one who had more. Then you had Bombshell at 0-4, who had gotten knocked out by Bronco, Yeti, Fight Force, and Lockjaw. He had a pretty, pretty rough season, the 2016 finalists, and apparently there was a lot of issues with new motors just burning out on them. I was told that they were running across the state trying to get new parts and get themselves ready for fights, and it was just, everything was going against them, from bad to worse. So with the other five competitors from this fight all having those like mid-range around 500 records of 2-2 two and two, or slightly better or worse, and with Brutus, Warhawk, and Endgame having their own rumble to decide another seeded spot, there weren't a lot of bots left to choose from apparently for that last spot in the rumble. Bots like Bombshell, Predator, Captain Shredderator, Blacksmith, Bale Spear were all bots that were able to sign up in the pits to be in this rumble and then it was left to the selection committee to decide who they thought would be the best competitor. Now when you hear some of those names, Predator, Bale Spear, Bombshell, who do you think would be the best choice? Predator dies after one hit because it's basically Foxic, Bale Spear's weapon, does, it breaks on a love tap when it's the one causing a, an attack, it's just... It, these are not the bots you want to have in this kind of a fight. Bombshell also provided some variety uh, with the weapons. You had a vertical spinner, a flipper, a full body spinner, a grappler, a pusher, and a horizontal spinner. Can't choose somebody like Captain Shredderator if you're already going to have Gigabyte in it. Captain Shredderator had his own mess of a season losing to bots that weren't in the tournament. At least all the bots Bombshell lost to, they're in. Add to that certain bots like Petunia who just didn't think they can get the bot ready in time or Reality who chose to do the US versus the World Special instead and Bombshell was an obvious choice in the end for the Rumble. Now speaking of that Rumble, there were different rules. These rules were 18 years old. These were from Comedy Central days. They weren't updated because this Rumble wasn't planned at the start of the season. They only thought of it probably an hour before and they were like, hey, we can't decide who gets spot 16. Let's just have all of the potential bots fight in a Rumble. There's no time to change the rules. You just gotta act on this great idea that you just had. And that's exactly what happened. The most important rule for this rumble was that no bot could get counted out individually. There are no knockouts. Did you get that? No knockouts. If your robot is unresponsive but later is able to move again, you're back in the match. However, if all but one robot are unresponsive and time is still left on the clock, the referee will count out all unresponsive robots and that single mobile robot, that will be declared the winner. Similarly, if the full three minutes elapses and there is a single robot left who is responsive, that robot will be declared the winner. Now on the other hand, if the full three minutes elapses and there are multiple robots still responsive, the judges will declare the winner from this group of responsive robots. So as you saw in this fight, for example, Red Devil got knocked out after a hit from Bombshell followed by a hit by Gigabyte, but he was never technically knocked out. He could have kept moving and he still would have been eligible for a win at the end. The reason this rule is, is existing is because during Comedy Central days, when there would be 15 to 20 bots in a rumble, you got two refs looking at all of those bots. There's no way they can keep track of who's still in and who's still out. On top of that, add in the weird active weapon, primary weapon rules that uh, modern BattleBots has been having and then we had a mess. We simply had a mess. The normal scoring system was in place, two points for damage, one for control, strategy, and aggression, but of course, aggression with a primary active weapon, and any sort of other aggression that didn't meet that requirement actually goes against you, and that is a critical point in this fight when you look at somebody like Duck. 
The main point of this video was to watch the rumble and to show you guys evidence from the fight as to where Bombshell may have won it and Duck may have lost it. Because I do think there are some things that are getting overlooked. And we're going to break it down, the whole thing. So let's get going. All right, so the fight begins. We see Duck immediately going after Red Devil. Bombshell tried to go to the middle. No one was there. So he recycles his attack. Duck gets himself grappled by Red Devil here. And Bombshell comes in to grab a hit. It pops Duck up a little bit. Doesn't seem like it does a lot of damage. Here comes a crucial one. Red Devil still grappling Duck. They run into Valkyrie. Valkyrie then tries to turn away. Hits Gigabyte. Sending Gigabyte into Bombshell, which sends Gigabyte into the screws. I don't know how much Bombshell actually knew about this hit. Um, it's one of those things in soccer. If you kick the ball and it hits my arm and I'm a foot away, I don't have time to react to get my hand out of the way. So can you call that against me? Bombshell goes in after Gigabyte, gets himself grabbed. Duck is now over by Lucky off screen. As Bombshell is getting grabbed, Gigabyte's trying to get spun up again. There's Duck going after Lucky, he gives a bump to Valkyrie, and then there's a great shot. Great job by Duck. Looks like he caught Gigabyte off guard a little bit, maybe, where he was backing into Valkyrie, and then all of a sudden, he went full throttle into Gigabyte. Good shot. Bombshell is now released by Red Devil. Valkyrie sent into Gigabyte by Duck. Bombshell, I didn't see what he did there. But here you see Bombshell going after Gigabyte. This is something, this is a theme in the fight that I think got overlooked by everyone else except the judges. The entire fight, Bombshell seems to just have his eyes focused only on Gigabyte. He is constantly going after the full body spinner until his drive messes up. Duck, you're going to see a lot of going after Valkyrie mainly. And that's where I think there's an issue that is not getting a lot of attention. No disrespect to Valkyrie. Good bot, capable of causing damage as we've seen this season. But Gigabyte is Gigabyte. Gigabyte is better than Valkyrie. Back to the action, Red Devil and Bombshell going at it, and there is Bombshell's best hit of the fight, probably the best hit of the Rumble, actually, for all the bots. He gets a tread off Red Devil, Devil? Devil, I apologize. At this point, Red Devil's pretty much out of it, but Gigabyte comes in to finish him off anyway. Great stuff from Bombshell, he's pretty much taken out one of the bots, almost single-handedly. Bombshell, you see him in the far corner there, he's kind of spinning around, not sure what's up. Duck again. You see him in the top left picking on Valkyrie. Doesn't even care what Gigabyte's doing. He's still picking on Valkyrie, who I think has lost their weapon at this point, but I'm not sure. Bombshell again, keeping an eye on Gigabyte. Boom, one pop, two pop, three pop, four pop. Great attack from Bombshell, putting the pressure on Gigabyte. Where's Duck? There he is. Was gonna go after Gigabyte, decides not to, and here he goes again. Okay, gets a good shot on Gigabyte there. He's hanging around in the middle. Gigabyte goes after Valkyrie. There comes Bombshell again to get another hit on Gigabyte. Now this is where we hit the halfway point of the fight and Bombshell starts having problems. Little side note, Bombshell did lose drive on one side, but was actually high centered on something, some small piece of shrapnel or something like that. Mike Jeffries has said that when this was happening, one of his teammates from far behind the crowd of 20 or so people in that control area said he had an idea of how to get Bombshell unstuck. So he had to fight his way through the mass of people to get the controls from Mike to free Bombshell. Of course, that took a lot of time. There's rumor that he was playing Possum Bombshell. He wasn't. Simple as that. We all know they would not do that. The creators of BattleBots are defending him, and why would you doubt that, man? So Bombshell starts to have his issues. We see Duck there in the middle again. There's another attack towards Gigabyte. Now he's going after Lucky. There goes Bombshell being stuck, Valkyrie taking a small shot from Gigabyte, and you see Lucky and Duck going at it in the background. The way that this was referred to, Duck's taking out the garbage. He's just sweeping up the mess that Gigabyte and Bombshell have created in the box. Who needs to bring the pit crew in? Duck's got this taken care of. Man, we don't need a rake, we don't need a shovel, put a little broom on him. So as you can see, Bombshell's still struggling. Here comes Duck again uh, with another shot on Gigabyte. Gigabyte takes a shot from the wall there, and this is where Gigabyte goes down. If Gigabyte was able to get back moving, he would have had a good shot at winning this thing. But, as we know, this is the end of Gigabyte. He's spinning, but he won't be moving much more unless a bot hits him. So now we have Duck in the center of the arena. Red Devil is out, Lucky has half his drive, Bombshell has half his drive, Gigabyte has no drive, and Valkyrie has no weapon. 
So it looks like Duck's in a pretty promising position here. Here he is shoving Valkyrie over to one of the corners. And as you can see, the bot's lying around. Duck goes back to the middle. He decides to go after Valkyrie. Now he's trying to make sure nobody is moving so he can get that knockout victory. Because that was the strategy for Duck. Oh, look, Valkyrie's back. He hasn't gotten rid of him. So now Lucky has also stopped moving. Bombshell is, a, is not moving now, of course. This is when he is high centered. He's still trying to move a little bit. Valkyrie has very, very little life in him. Now, Duck is the only fully mobile bot at this point, and it looks like it's a clear open and shut case. But what has he really done in this fight? He wasn't the one that took out Lucky. He wasn't the one that took out Red Devil. I, actually, I don't even know who took out Lucky. I didn't really see if anyone got a decent shot on him or not. I don't know what happened. But of course, we get to the end of the fight. Bombshell is able to kind of crab walk his way towards the middle of the arena, just barely. And he is moving just enough to be considered eligible for the victory. Now, that's another rule that needs a little bit more tweaking for the next season. Because in the Desperado final, we saw Lucky doing some similar movements and he was counted out. And I think we've seen bots before with Drive on one side uh, not counted out in the case of Bombshell here. So what is acceptable movement and what isn't? There needs to be a little more clarification there. So let's look at the scoring criteria and try and figure out where the points went. Two of them are very easy to figure out. Strategy. Duck's strategy is always the same. Make bots damage themselves, wait for the wait for the field in this case to wind down a little bit, and then just take over, try and help kind of finish everybody off. And it worked. He was very patient. He held up the attacks he had to, he, he, tank, he tanked the attacks he needed to tank, and he didn't really take a lot of damage. Just a little bit of a bend, I think, on one side of the, uh, of the plow. So that point's clearly ducks. Another point that is clearly ducks is the control category, because he can drive very well. He was doing a very good job of keeping the plow in front. I referred once in a fight court on Mr. Psycho's channel, link in the description, about how sometimes you can look like your back is up against the wall, but you could just be playing solid defense. I was referencing a Robot Wars match between Razor and Tornado, where Tornado had used his classic anti-Razor cage, and it looked like Razor was pushing him around, but Razor couldn't get the bite, because Tornado had the cage, and that for me was controlled defense. I refer to it like Manchester United under Jose Mourinho, where they may have a one goal lead and they're sitting back defending, and it looks like the other team's putting a lot of pressure on, but United knows they're defending fine, they're organized, there's nothing to worry about, there's no threat, it may look like it, but everything's calm. The aggression point, I think, is widely getting considered bombshells now, and I think there is still a little bit of confusion on it because both bots were aggressive, don't get me wrong. They were both attacking other bots constantly. But like I said earlier, Bombshell was going after Gigabyte, Duck was going after Valkyrie. Maybe that weighed into the judges' minds, not quite sure. The other thing, remember the rules about primary weapon, active weapon, all that stuff? Bombshell's got that deadly moving vertical spinner, Duck has a plow. And the plow was counting against Duck instead of in favor of him or instead of just being a neutral. Well, it's not a primary weapon, we're just not going to worry about it. No, it was hurting him. So I think that swing both ways is what gave Bombshell the aggression point. And then the final category is damage. Of course, the one that has the most weight because it's got two points. Well, we know Bombshell took out Red Devil pretty much single-handedly. I mean, the last hit by Gigabyte, I don't know if it mattered too much. I think Red Devil was already done at that point. Um, Bombshell had a couple decent hits on Gigabyte, he was attacking him a lot. Then, now Duck may have also gotten a couple good hits on Gigabyte, but who do you think did more damage? I think Bombshell did a lot of the hard work, and Duck came and maybe finished him off a little bit. Now Bombshell took damage, Duck didn't take that much. Duck's weapon was still working, his drive was still working, Bombshell lost half of his drive. Don't know if that was counted or not by the judges, or maybe they looked at it and they were like, Bombshell's damage wasn't caused by Duck, so therefore we're not going to worry about it. Again, it was an old Rumble style with old rules, so there was, I think, a little bit of confusion with those rules. Think of in the NFL, you know, how if a player grabs the ball and then when he starts going to ground, it like moves a little bit. Well, if he's got control of the ball, even though it's moving a little bit, but they'll probably call that an incomplete pass because that's what the rule states. The NFL rules are confusing for catches, I don't know. But it's one of those things that I've seen in the last few years in that sport where they rule, the rule may be correct in its enforcement, but the rule is a bad one. So 
I think that's what we are having here with this rumble. A lot of uh, correctly enforced bad rules. So there you go, it was probably two points damage for Bombshell, plus one for aggression, two points for duck strategy and control, means Bombshell was the winner in the eyes of the judges. I think that's the only way they could have scored that, and it was a little bit surprising that it was uh, unanimous, but hey, these things happen. Um, it's kind of interesting with the scoring system because a unanimous decision feels like it's not close, but it still could be. Think of a boxing match and say all three judges score it 58 to 57 for the same fighter. Technically that is a unanimous decision, but it was only a one point win in each eyes of the judges. It was still a close fight. I think it was a very, very close fight. Honestly, if Duck won, I don't, I don't think I would have batted an eye, I would have accepted it. Bombshell winning obviously has angered a lot of people because he was 0-4 and they think he should have been, he shouldn't have been there in the first place. So one thing's for sure, we need to accept it and move on. The judges have their opinions, and they are entitled to their opinions. It's their opinions, you can't tell them that they're wrong if they honestly think that this bot won based off these judging criteria, based off these specific rules. It, you're entitled to your opinion just as much as they are to theirs. You can't tell them that they're wrong. And you certainly can't say to two BattleBots legends that they that you think they should have more respect than that than to give the win to Bombshell. Uh, legit, this was on Lisa Winter's Instagram where somebody called out ju uh, her and Derek saying, I thought, uh, I figured you'd have more respect than that. Are you kidding me? Derek Young, Lisa Winter, they've both been around for 18 years. Lisa's been around since she was 12. Are you kidding me? You don't think they have respect for the sport. Hopefully it doesn't discourage too many people from not watching the show anymore because regardless of who won this fight, we were getting a great rematch of Tombstone versus somebody. We got a good one still. With Bombshell rematch of the final two years ago, with the weapon that we were hoping Bombshell would use because it got him fairly far in the tournament, I'm excited. You can be mad, you can make your memes, but band together and let's have a kick-ass last three episodes of BattleBots 2018. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you leave a like and consider subscribing. We've got a lot of BattleBots uh, content on the channel, um, and I think you'll like some of it. You might not, but give it a watch anyways. Um, and that's all for this video. We'll see you in the future. I could always be the one you want to call when it's cold outside. I will always be the one that's right here standing by your side. Open up your heart and let me in. I promise not to break you. I promise I'll be all